You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Bad Girls Club After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. 1729. And now, another post game wrap up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Bad Girls Club After Show. <laughs> this is the Amber today. today. I'll be Amber. We're all Amber. <laughs> Yo, what up, After Buzzers? Bing is for doing, and we are here doing another After Buzz TV after show for the Bad Girls Club Season 1 <laughs> Battle of the All Stars, Episode 4. <laughs> it's your boy, DJ Jesse Janity, joined in studio by my lovely co host, Siobhan Hughes. Hi there, everybody. Stephanie Bauer. Hello. And it's a very special day. It's actually the Amber Show Day oh, yeah. because we have the one, the only Amber M in the house. Where? Where is she? <laughs> what up, girl? Hey. Hey, you know. Hey. We just got finished watching it, the episode, and. Mm. What's it's really it like? boring. Yeah, what's it like it's watching so that? so boring. <laughs> now there is no talent on that show. It's not I mean, now. Right? After, no, after you left. Where did so. the talent go? Well, so uh, before we start about the episode, tell, talk to us about what Bad Girls has kind of. I mean, you were season four, and you had the Amber Plus. Show. See, what? Three. Was not, was it season three? Mm -hmm. I am old. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm ah. so old. Season three. And uh, you, I mean, you were obviously tied to the other Amber on the show. Oh, I miss her so much. Do you guys still talk? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah I needed her on that show. You she's did. The girl. But she's pregnant now, right? Whoa. No. Or she just had a baby? No. Amber is not pregnant. Really? No. Okay. She likes uh -oh. in the butt. No. Come on. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, well, w so, you, I mean, you were on Tyra Banks. I mean, you've, you've done your little Yeah, we did circuit. our, like, Tyra Banks, all the news networks yeah. in New York City. What was it like uh, before, being in the, before the original Bad Girls, Bad Girls Club, Club went to trash? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it was good. I mean, it was fun. Um, there were a lot of the girls, like, we'd get mad at each other, but we had redeeming qualities. Um, it was just different back then. Nobody, we weren't in competition with past seasons. Right. We were just there to live together. And, you know, we'd sometimes be in competition with each other. But overall, like, you know, we weren't bad people. We had our bad moments. Everybody does. But it wasn't like the train wreck it is now. Did you feel like you all in that season changed for the better, like what it used to be about, which is bettering yourselves? Um, I don't think any of us changed for the better. Mm -hmm. The show doesn't make you change for the better. It like brings out your worst. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, if you're smart, you realize, holy shit, I just <laughs> did some stuff I should never ever do in my life again. But I great, lived great and it was fun. Yeah. Um, but I don't think the show brings out the better in anyone. We think that was their goal. We were talking about last week. When they first started the show, I think the goal was to like change the to girls. Try. And then they gave up. They you threw that like to you the You guys wings. are so right. The show is, have you ever heard of Starting Over? Yes, I love mm -hmm. that show. Starting Over. Mm -hmm. The women are in the house. They're like bringing each other up. They're learning from each other. They brought counselors in, career counselors. Mm -hmm. Yanla was on that. Yeah, they brought mm -hmm. in so many people to help motivate the girls the girls had jobs mm -hmm. where they had to go to work every day yeah I'm, i and was then, always surprised with yeah, that because the real one, world's like that too yes. you have to have a job season yeah. two they got rid of the um the counselors got yeah. rid of them completely they still had jobs season three got rid of counselors and got rid of jobs mm -hmm. and season four and on they have nothing mm -hmm. for the girls mm -hmm. so it was actually from the producer started it because of starting over really? and then they realized that um, the fights and all of that were getting ratings and they ran with it mm -hmm. and I, I've heard through the grapevine I don't know if it's true but I heard they're gonna bring back more of like you know the like we're here to better ourselves stuff yeah. so I mean the viewership is probably gonna go down probably <laughs> speaking of fights let me know if I'm wrong you were involved in that fight in your season 
like at like at a gas station, right? Oh, yeah. Was that you? <laughs> yes. What, that was over a tipping situation. Yes. Um, she was supposed to pay for gas. No, <laughs> it was over a tip, like literally a few dollars. So she just didn't like because just because you know we've a lot of people in the entertainment industry had time working in it, you know, as yep. a server. We've been so servers. We, we know how I'm it goes. A, I used to be a server. Right? We know. So, so she she just didn't leave anything, or you know what it was. That moment confused the hell out of me. Anyway. And honestly, I'll admit now, <laughs> I'll admit now that I think I might have been part of it. I was a little drunk, and actually, no, I was sober at dinner. Maybe I just didn't know how to do math. I think I was part of the problem, but I thought it was her. Um, you know, the bill, we all put in our money, and then Kayla was the last person to put in her money. Mm. And then after she put in her money, we just double-checked it, not because Kayla, you know, not because we think she's not going to tip, just because right. we just checked it. And there was, like, a $2 tip on, like, a $60 tab. Oh, no. Mm. The, the bar was empty. Like, you can't do that yeah. to somebody. And Kayla's opinion was, well, the place is empty. Like, That's it's empty. That's over tip. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the next bar, it was funny because the next bar we went to that same night didn't air it. But the next bar we went to, she actually tipped the guy $20 on like two drinks. So she was trying to make up for it because she didn't want to look like a cheap girl. Right. Right, I ain't going right. to tip. But, you know, for me, and this goes back to principle, never think about the principle. But for me, it was the principle. You can't leave one person and not let them make any money and the next person make a ton. Right. You got to tip everybody at least 20%. Mm -hmm. Who gives a fuck if you want to give them more? You got to give them 20%. Exactly. Right. Unless they suck. Mm -hmm. And so we got into it. <laughs> um, so where, what has Bad Girls done for you uh, <sighs> from that season to Bad Girls All-Star? Because you said, if, and uh, last week we talked, to, we talked to Stassi, and she said, the only reason I did the show was because it was a challenge show. Yeah. Would you have gone into it if it was just Bad Girls All-Star, we're going to take the no, top Bad Girls and no, put them in the house? No, no. no. Why, do you think I really, like, I mean, do you think I really want to go live with a bunch of crazy <laughs> bitches for fun? Well, and speak on that, because <laughs> at the beginning of this episode, they played a clip of you saying, you can't be friends with Bad Girls. They will always fuck you over. Yes, 100%. And that's the truth. Like, I've, I'm a friendly person. I'm a nice person. Like, I care about people. Like, I've taken a lot of these girls under my wing. How, regardless of how shitty my wing is and how, like, <laughs> how much you can see through the cracks, who cares? Like, I have a good heart. And, like, I've just had nonstop girls just from the show, like, just fuck you over or, you know what I mean? Just not people you want to actually be friends with. Right. So, um, you know, and that's my opinion. Maybe I'm the bad person. Who knows? Who cares? But... I don't think you can really be friends with bad girls. Who Not a real good are, friend. Do you have any friends from the show? Would you say anyone is a friend, or is it just like, well, that's my dysfunctional family, and I'm cool with them? Yeah, um, I would say, like, I'm friends with Tanisha. Okay. Me and her are close. Like, I love that girl. Like, she's amazing. She's, like, been so good to me, and I hope I'm at least a little good to her. <laughs> um, you know, me and Natalie are friends. Like, do we have our moments where we disagree? Yeah, um... You know, there's a lot of things I, I don't like about her. There's a lot of things she doesn't like about me. But there's a lot of things we both like about each other. We have a good time together. We're friends. Like, I've got her back. Um, even Flo. Like, I disagree with Flo. I don't respect her at all. But, like, if somebody tried to fight with her and I was there, I would, like, have Flo's back and I would grab the other person, even if I would be put in harm's way. Do you I mean, think that it. that tie is kind of, I mean, before we get into tonight's episode, let's talk about what your experience on the show obviously you Natalie and Flo went in together do you yeah. think that that bond was I mean were you friends with them before was it kind of like well okay we know we're going into this we are the originals like we need to stick mm, together I think it was more that bond was more grasping for anything you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean like they put us in a limo together because we said okay things about each other you know um the Natalie and Flo were bound to fucking backstab each other like they they, they go back and forth always. It's going to continue forever. You know, they play that, like, hate, love. They'll do whatever they need to do to get whatever to the next step they want to be mm -hmm. at. Um, so, you know, I knew that was going to crumble. I didn't know I was going to crumble with them so quick. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be the one. Like, I was going to hold them together, but... Well, and I mean, explain that because, how, I mean, you kind of explained it before we went on air. How did you feel that plotting, uh, voting na against Natalie would benefit you? You know, I don't want to tell you the real reason because it, like, will literally melt your brain because <laughs> nobody wants to be in my head. So I'll just tell you whatever reasoning production made it look like on television. Um, you know, 
Uh, it was basically just a maneuver I was going to use eventually to get rid of other girls when it was the time to get rid of other girls. So Natalie thought it was Flo. I was like, no, it's not Flo. No, it's not Flo. I think it's probably maybe Julie or Judy mm -hmm. or picking girls because I thought like production, I was playing a completely different game than production was playing. I thought they were going to switch up the teams because there was going to be two purple ones left and like eight eight pink girls you know I didn't have any idea what they were right. doing so I was playing this game in my own head that like nobody else was playing so I thought that um you know the teams were going to switch up sooner so I was going to use it to get rid of girls on my team well because I mean the way I looked at it is part of me felt because there were rumors going around that Flo and Natalie went into this together saying all right let's make it look like we're against each other but we're really on the same team so in a way I felt like well is Amber really doing this to make the other girls think she's against Natalie like they are and it kind of that to I think me, I that would do would that I would do that except for the fact that it was found out you right. know what I mean so then you know so when it was found out how did you end up standing on top of the couch <laughs> yeah, yelling at Natalie <laughs> Oh, was I? Who was I yelling at? Oh, Natalie. Flo. It was Natalie? you and Natalie going back at each other when Natalie. Oh, found you guys out. missed that whole fight. No, like there's so much that didn't make air, which is fine. I'm gl I'm glad. Like I thought production <laughs> was gonna make me a lot worse than I looked. There was I was there was a lot you guys missed. Me and Flo went at it big time. Like I don't respect Flo. You miss all of that. Um, and then I guess with Natalie and me, Natalie was pissed. She had no idea I voted for her. So when she found out, of course she's gonna think this little blonde bitch mm -hmm. just fucking <laughs> played me. All my friends like like hate Amber. They all think she's stupid, and now she just played me like she was pissed. And then that then she started lying. She started saying shit that was completely false to try and, and get like, the house to look um, at you a different way. Um. Or just I being no, Natalie's just Natalie. She just says whatever she wants to say, like, and she was just saying false things. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, first of all, you can get mad at me for voting for you. Of course, I get it. But when you're gonna like lie about shit, like, no, bitch, that's fucking false. <laughs> what does she lie like, about? Just like random stuff, like, um, I borrowed her car at one point, or no, I didn't even borrow her car. She asked me to pick it up for her, and so I picked up her car, and in the process, um, somebody had broke the latch on her car door, at the at the car shop. So she was saying that she watched the security video and I got in the car, opened up the door and got in and drove away. So it was me who broke her car. I'm like, no bitch, if you would have watched the security video, you would have seen me walk around the car to make sure nothing was wrong because it was shady. The, the um, car mechanic drove it in the back and then drove it back out and left the front door open. So mm. I thought something was funny. So she's just bringing up all this random stuff to Yeah, but like, but like, but she was pissed at me, so I get why she would, like, come at me with whatever, but she was lying, and I'm like, dude, don't fucking lie. Like, you're trying to make me look bad. Like, I already look bad for voting for you. I already look like a bad friend, but, like, you know, little things like that. But you said in, when you were voting for her, you're like, you'd do the same to me or something. Is that yeah. really why you did it? No, like, production has you say a few different things. So one of the things they wanted me to say, you're going home because you're a shady-ass bitch. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not going to say that. Like, <laughs> why would I say that? Like, that's not, I'm only voting uh -huh. for her for strategy. Right. Yeah. Like, she's, I know she's not going home. I just convinced everyone on my team that she's going to throw the challenge. Why would they send her home? No. Like, she's good. Right. So I'm just going to throw one extra one in there to stir up the drama when it, the time comes. Which but, almost helps production in a way. Yeah. Because it just gives a of little course, extra. Of course, I helped production. That's why I went home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, I wasn't helping production too much, or I would have still been there. Right. <laughs> I can't. But that's on another note. There no. we go. Um, all right. So, were you surprised at you going home at all? I knew before I even went to the elimination that I was going home 100%. I actually felt like leaving because I feel like all. I feel like these bad girls think being a bad girl, you know, how to be a bad girl is you throw mattresses in pools, you throw people's clothing in the swimming pool, and that makes you a bad girl. Oh, and when a new girl comes to the house, you have to jump them because that yeah. makes you a bad girl because that's what every season does because right. she doesn't belong here because she's the new girl. I'm like, you girls are fucking stupid. I'm like, I'll show you what a real bad girl does. I'll throw your mattress in the fucking fire pit and I'll burn your fucking shit and I'll drive over <laughs> your suitcase. And that's what I was about to do to Flo's shit because I was pissed at her. But um, I wasn't very strong. The mattress was really heavy, and they didn't air any of that. <laughs> but um, what was your question again? God, I don't even know. I, I, just, I, just, pic I just picture a burning mattress right now. You burning a mattress. I'm like, like I, I'm, I'm a real bad girl because I do what the fuck I want when I want. And, 
you know, if that takes me walking off set because I don't give a fuck and I don't want to be there anymore, I know mm. I'm going home the next day, I'll walk off set. I almost did that. I was going to leave. I'm like, why do I need to go to this elimination when I know I'm going home? Mm -hmm. So you guys can sit there and vote for me and talk shit about me and be like, yeah, we're sending you home, bitch. Mm -hmm. Like one yeah. of the little twins on the other end. <laughs> no, like I will walk off right now. Fuck you. I'm going home right now. Like, why do I need to wait for that? And I waited. And I stayed because I was like, I'll be a team player. So I'll go home first and not two of us need to go home in one week. When Natalie went home because she thought she was going to get eliminated like the first night and then she came back, where did she go? Because everyone was saying that she, she went home and home. it was unfair and she walked back in with her cell phone. Do you know where she went? Because she said she didn't go home. Um, I, I mean, I, I can't remember. I think she went, I think she went home. I think she said, fuck you, production. Like, mm -hmm. she was pissed because they, the problem is, is they tell you it's going to be one thing and then you get there and it's something different. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we're going to be upset in them. And we've been fucked over on our seasons. This this shit's already aired. Like, some of these new seasons, these girls, like, a lot of the way they're portrayed isn't actually the way they are, and they're mad about right. it. Mm -hmm. So they've been manipulated and played this whole time. So they're obviously going to come into this show being a little bit on edge, mm -hmm. which is understandable, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and it's going to make them not trusting. And if you don't give it to us 100% and make us trust you and you do shady shit, that's the shit we're going to pull. You're dealing with bad girls. Yeah, oh. you're dealing with bad girls who some of us think we're a big deal. Like, <laughs> obviously, she's going to walk off set with her cell phone. Like, yeah. She's, She's like, fuck you. I'm a big deal. Fuck you. You know? Well, I, she runs I think that that's why a lot of the girls don't like her because she gets away with that stuff. And it seemed like, did production bribe her back? I don't know if they bribed her back, but she gets away with that stuff because she does bring in. I mean, look at her. She's amazing television. Like, mm -hmm. I respect the shit she does because it's like, she does whatever it takes. Like, and she doesn't care. You know, she just does what she needs to do. Yeah. You know uh, what I mean? Like, she's good TV. She, yeah. I, we, I mean, you gotta say. Yeah. And the thing is that she pisses these girl, girls off to the point where these girls can't keep her name out of their mouth. Does she, she do creates. it? Does she play it up a little extra? Or is that really her natural is character? She like, that all like, does the she time? really play it no, up because I she mean, knows like, it's gonna give good TV and she knows it's gonna piss these yeah, girls off? Yeah, 100%. Okay. Yeah, no, me and Natalie yeah. are friends in real life. Like, you're not gonna see her fucking bashing TVs and right. like she's a normal person <laughs> on television. She brings it and it's good. Why not? I think it's hilarious. Well, let's talk about this episode. Uh, it, so it, the whole thing is about Judy being manipulated uh, with this episode. Gabby's telling her, you know, not to be persuaded by Paula and Jen. Which so obviously these were the. There were three strong alliances. It was, well, I don't know if I want to call your alliance pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, and it was you, strong. you, Flo, and uh, Natalie. Then we had Julie, Danny, Gabby, and kind of Judy. Yeah. Was Judy flip-floppy, or is that just Judy how they're editing? Judy is just fucking slow. Okay. <laughs> she's just slow. Like, she's going to do whatever she needs to do, and she's just going to roll with it. Because people don't look at her as a threat, so she can do whatever. She can be slow. Nobody's right. going to think she's a threat. So Judy's just going to float through all of it. Uh, and then we had Jen and Paula, which... Didn't seem that strong to me, but oh, I mean, Jen and Jen Paula was were winning before so Bad Girls Club. I heard. Oh really? Oh. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't, I didn't ever watch their new seasons, but that's what I heard. So that's that's, they're going to be one hundred percent like strong. Do you um think that the uh, Boston girls had kind of an unfair advantage because they were such good I, friends before they came? I on don't think stars? it's unfair, but I definitely thought it needed to be broken up. One of the first things to be broken up. Right. I don't care right. which one of those girls go home, but one of them needs to. I thought personally. For the entire show, I thought Julie was the strongest competitor because mm -hmm. Julie's very, very intelligent. Mm -hmm. She has friends on the show that she's alliance with. Um, and, and one then, on each team. Yeah, mm -hmm. and on top of that, like, I mean, she's not that strong, so she's not a big threat. Like, right. I thought she was the first girl who needed to go home. Yeah, and I, I really think you're the only girl that kind of knew how to play the game, like on the challenges. Yeah, they I knew how to play how to really play. well. No, I mean, no, seriously, I do because all the other girls, like, what do the twins think they're going to do? Share the money at the end with Julie? Like, where do they think these alliances are going to get them? They're all going to walk hand in hand in the sunset with I, the money? I personally <laughs> think, like, with the three of them, they probably would have hoped one of them would have won. I would have. I would rather Nat Natalie win over any of the other girls. Yeah, but you know that you're not going to, like, but, share the money well, with no, her. Well, no, I mean, knowing the MTV battle of the challenge, Challenges that the the real world world rules. Sometimes they do split the money. Yeah, Natalie and, and I said we were gonna split it. I don't really? know if she would have split it with me, but 
You yeah. know she wouldn't have split it with you. I don't know. You know I don't know. know. If there's no paper contract, I wouldn't trust anybody. All the girls yeah. on the show thought we were going to. Really? Uh, so we get to the captain's challenge. Erica says she's too sick to compete. Now I'm starting wow. to see a little trend with Erica oh, kind total of trend. not wanting I'm to. Just Erica said I'm she was sad. sick. She yeah. said she was sick, and then yeah. they played every single challenge, her excuse for every challenge. And even if it was like, oh, I'm not getting in with the pigs, like it was still an excuse. I think, honestly, she was really depressed. Like really? when her friend went home on the first episode, she was, or her friend on the second, those two girls were her alliance. So she just isn't a strong person by herself. She yeah. needs people to have her back and be with her. She walked off set one time. The production had to bring her back in. Like she just wasn't a strong. She just wasn't a strong That's person. That's surprising mm-hmm. for her personality. What she yeah, you would think. think. You that would that think, but strong. no, no. And I was like keep this bitch around if she's gonna walk off set right. that's the girl i want to sit next right. to fuck Same. yeah like i didn't think of her as competition at all mm. i would have wanted her to be at the end with me for sure oh that's a smart way of thinking about it uh, so the captain's challenge you have to hold on to these suitcases over water <laughs> um which i thought this was actually a really good challenge it, I'm it made jealous. sense i, I can miss that one even though if, <laughs> watching this show versus the real world challenge i know it's a joke the real <laughs> world does hold on for like 30 minutes the None of these girls made it past three minutes. Yeah. So Flo three fell. Three minutes is pretty long. Three minutes is a long time. But Flo <laughs> fell off first, then Danny. Really? Then Flo fell off first? First, because she said, damn, I'm heavy. Mm. Uh, damn, I'm heavy. Julie, Paula, and that was all within a minute and 11 seconds. Then, Gabby was team captain? So listen, I Judy and, and Gabby were hanging at the end, and Gabby kept telling Judy, let go, let go. So that way she could be the captain. And Judy's like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Story of her life. And I Oxygen, what which y'all messed up with, with the sound went out. It was all over Twitter, and then the sound was out for the episode. That was. Awkward. But it was when Judy was talking, so we kind of know what. Oh, it we was. knew exactly. We I'm Trump, Judy. Yeah. <laughs> we get. I show my pussy to the now. world. <laughs> pussy for days. <laughs> So, Gabby tells Judy to drop. Judy drops. Gabby becomes team cha- uh, captain, and Jen becomes team the captain. The fuck? Gabby was team captain? Yep. Shit. Do you think that she, I mean, I don't know, do you think that um, Judy hesitated because she wanted to be captain, and the, and, and her the reason why she actually dropped was because she was afraid? Absolutely. She's afraid Judy's that, terrified. Yeah, that she's like, okay, great, now I'm going to have this these Boston Girls Alliance on my ass if I don't just drop. Yep. But she could have been team captain. Judy's smart, though. Like, these girls, like, aren't going to send her home. She does everything they say. That's true. But eventually she has to go. And that's the strongest alignment. Yeah, but, like, she's stronger than them, so she could kick their ass in a challenge. Like, I mean, like, when we were doing some of the challenges, I saw Judy in the front. Like, Judy's not super dumb. She's a little dumb. But she, like, knows how to fucking run, you know? (laughs) But there's still three of them and one of her. Eventually, one of those girls is going to get Yeah, but you don't think the show is all of a sudden at some point going to go every man for himself? It's going to get to that point. And, you know, when you're going against girls like that, you're going to win. Especially her. Judy's a lot stronger than she looks. Um, I do definitely think Judy's scared. Yeah, and she's getting played by everyone, which is awesome. Oh my it's god! Best spot okay, to be wait. In. I don't know. Can I'm we scared. please go back? I've always to... played dumb. It's the best spot to be. Can in. we ah! please go back to last week when Judy, uh, when Natalie went up to Judy and said, "We'll be on." Well, you both of you guys. <laughs> Just describe that moment for us. Oh, my God. Okay. Like, what was the conversation you and Natalie had before you approached Judy? Okay. So, like, Judy is Judy. And (laughs) she got arrested on the airplane because she thought she was the next Natalie nun bitch. We all remember (laughs) that. And got got arrested. Like, this girl. (laughs) No fly All the screws are not, like. Screwed in, like something's loose. So I mean, whatever. She's an she's not a bad person. Right. She's a sweet girl, but whatever. So she likes Natalie. She wants to be like Natalie. Um, Would you say maybe a she weird idolizes? Obsession? Probably. Okay. I mean, it's probably gone now after the show. Actually, it's probably not. She probably still idolizes her. But I mean, so Natalie coming up and being like, "I'll be, I'll be your friend. Like, we, I got your back. Like, you know, um, I'll follow you on Twitter." Actually, does mean something to her it we, does. we thought it was a joke when when it's judy was like funny. when judy was like maybe she'll tag me on twitter and like post stuff on facebook about me <laughs> no not joking true. no it's Even true if you think that you but don't the say girls the girls put her in her place quick the girls let her know bitch you think natalie's gonna be your f-? she's not dumb enough to actually like have people tell her the truth and actually still believe it so right. i mean 
you know, Judy was just playing everything and everyone. Like, she told me, she's like, Amber, I won't send you home. And then the next second she does. Like, right. <laughs> you know, dude, Judy's Judy. So, all right, let's go to the team challenge. Now, You're so Ju- smiling. <laughs> now, Julie's sick. She gets her period. Felt like what she Why said. do we have to hear Spartacus. about everybody's period on this show? <laughs> Uh, well, you guys weren't really there for a long time, so I guess your periods really didn't kind of. But no. don't you like females? Like I totally can like relate to that feeling of Spartacus going on in your uterus. But they didn't have yeah, to show. Like, the it thing. was awesome. No, was that's why I love bad girls. I love the editing I'm when they sorry, do. Sorry, but stuff. I think Julie's one of the funniest people <laughs> on that show. Yeah. I mean, you don't. I don't think you get to see it as much on television. But fucking follow that bitch on Twitter. She's funny. She's funny. funny. <laughs> like I want to be her friend on Twitter. Like she doesn't follow me. I want to be her friend because she's fucking funny. Um, so Julie sits out, and the thing is, you got to be in a mud pit and pull these stickers you off. You mean each other. not a mud pit? Or this in, much mud. Yeah. mud. Yeah. How did none of those girls fall? Yeah, it was that was actually really amazing. I would have just dragged a bitch down just for the fun of it and held her head and under and let them know the I'm yeah. the fucking strongest bitch here. Like leg swip. You got to just them. scare those girls. I know. I would have. Well, I would have been the girl 100% to leg swipe because yeah. on that first challenge when we were that hitting each other swipe? with bags. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When they, we were hitting each other's bag, I was the girl. I may have looked like I was doing the cha cha and dancing uh-huh. like Spanish and you whatever. Were twirling, yeah. No, dude, that was me dodging her so she'll fly off. I just. <laughs> yeah. she, she didn't have that much strength that. It, and like me pushing her over, I just suck That's at true. it. That's true. Boxers do that. They'll like Ooh, dodge. Like, like yeah, right wear you yourself off. Adam. Fall over. So I would have definitely. I would. I played mm. dirty. I was gonna play dirty. Like Paula was like Amber because I fell. They didn't show it, but I fell and I was. Like, she didn't hit me when I was down. She didn't try and push me off when I was down. She's like, get up, Amber. And I'm like sitting down there. I'm like, man, this is a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> I catch my breath. And then I like crushed her and kicked her off. Like, but like if she was on the ground, I would have pushed her the fuck down. Yeah, I want to be captain. You know, like I would have. Pl- I played dirty. I cheated on every challenge I could. What do you mean? How did you cheat? Because we heard you say that before. What? Um. Okay. So like the challenge where we were blindfolded and had the little yeah. um, handcuffs on. You're not supposed to move them. I was twisting, so we had tons of room so we could move our arms as much as we want. But the way they had us, you could only go like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can only go like that. You can't move. But I twisted it so we could have more room oh. you know and like i cheated on everything i was like we're gonna win this thing <laughs> you bad girl even yeah. to giving natalie the uh look for the ba- the thicker collar yeah. last oh, yeah. week now you were like tell me if you guys think that was dumb because everybody's everybody was mad at me they thought i was like team purple i'm like this is a captain's challenge yeah I get- of course you want your friend who's on your alliance to win the captain's challenge because yeah, okay. then they have two votes. I got why you did it, but the way you did it was hilarious. Yeah. Came up, like, so funny. Obviously, <laughs> every <laughs> girl heard what you said. I know. <laughs> Which yeah. was like, if you didn't hear, right, Danny. here's so what she just funny. said. Fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> so the team challenge, it goes Danny versus Paula. Paula wins. Gabby versus Erica. Erica wins. Flo versus Jen. Jen wins and then flows. This starts flows flow. Flow starts going ham after this moment, talking about she hit her in the face. It wasn't fair. Her Did she? Did you Jen see her in the face? They were, Jen even said Jen's like it was an accident. She's it's like, but I really meant to hit you. They were the both model. super aggressive. Like Jen could have said that um, Flow did something nasty to her because she did. Like she was very, yeah, very physically you like hard up. scary. Yeah. Yeah, no, um, it's the truth. Like, they're aggressive. Like, those girls want to fucking win, mm-hmm. and they're going to win. So they're aggressive to any point possible. I mean, the first challenge, Erica pulls Jen by her hair and knocks yeah. her off. And they kept fighting after Erica hurt her knee. Like, they're aggressive. They're like monsters. <laughs> uh, Scary. A lot of money. And so then <laughs> Natalie versus Judy, which was a great uh, matchup. Uh, Natalie uh, won very easily. Um, and the purple team wins. And then Flo Yay, starts the going. Team. Flo starts going into a crying uh. rant. She's off crying by a jacuzzi, saying, "I deserve the money more than anyone else." I don't understand. Like, I'm so sick of hearing her say that. Is, Why does she think she deserves it? Because she's, she's a mom. Yeah, she's a mom. She's a mom, so she deserves it more than everyone. <laughs> now, it, tell us about Flo. I think Flo is crazy. Do you think she's real? Because a lot of her fans say Flo is the realest bad girl to ever go on. Okay, I'll, I'm. I mean, I mean, I voted for my friend to go home, and I acted like I didn't. So <laughs> everybody thinks I'm not real now. Whatever. But like, I'm pretty honest. Mm-hmm. I think. I mean, you guys can probably get that for me. I'm honest. I think Flo is full of shit. And I, when I watched Flo on television, 
I thought she was awesome. Like, I loved her. I rooted for her on Bad Girl Season 4. I didn't like Natalie meeting both of them in person multiple, multiple times. Flo is fucking crazy, and she's phony. Okay. And, like, y- you guys missed a lot of it. Flo was playing every which angle she could. And these girls aren't dumb. They're seeing her. Like, you guys missed a ton of shit. Flo was, like, one second, like, Amber, you deserve to be here. The next second, you guys need to vote for whoever, you know. Like, one second she's with you, one second she's against you. She will play whatever. She thought production was, like, going to put place her on the platter for winning the show you know <laughs> she really thought she was gonna win so she was doing everything and i mean it kind of showed i mean the the biggest moment where i started seeing that with Flo was i think last week where she held her vo- who she was gonna vote mm-hmm. for last well obviously you're doing that because you don't want them to know because you if they vote against what you're voting for, then now you're on the opposite team. Yeah. So then this episode, we see Flo, like going you said, first. going to everybody, trying to manipulate Judy. Then she goes to talk to Danny and Gabby. And then she uh, she's going against Jen and uh, Paula, trying to break them up. So the, the Flo wants come to up. win. Flo wants to win. She's going to do whatever it takes. Now, before we continue that, one other question about Flo uh, we asked this, uh, Stassi this last week. I want to get your take on it. The whole Rocky thing. At the end, Rocky uh, was at the elimination and Flo bugs out on her. Would you say that Flo had the right to bug? Stassi said that Flo had a reason to bug out with her on her. I wouldn't would say, say it's a reason. I mean, Rocky, Rocky was wasted. Mm-hmm. Her dad just died. I mean, for me, no matter what she does to me, even if she hits me, she's got some shit right. going on that's bigger than this show and these shows drive you to do things that you would never do in real life so rocky for me had an out now at the at the elimination rocky was saying something and flo was talking whatever and some reason there's a couple things that didn't air they mm-hmm. weren't a big deal but they were something that like pissed flo off and flo went the fuck off should she have went off no not a normal person a normal person wouldn't have but Flo is also a little bit crazy, and she also wants the ratings. She, it's been since season four since she's been a big deal, you guys. Like, mm-hmm. she wants to be a big deal. She's competing with Natalie, who's in Hollywood, who's going to events and doing mm-hmm. this, and, you know, always talking shit about her. And, you know, at places that are more relevant than where Flo is at home with her baby. So, you know, she just wants relevance. So mm-hmm. she's going to pop off at whatever she needs to. She's going to do whatever she thinks she needs to do. Right. So do I think she had a right? No. Do I think she's a little bit crazy and she thought she had a right? Yeah. All right. Um, Am I making any sense? No, yeah, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> All right, no, no more of the La Marie. It was good. Man. Uh, uh, so we go to the club. Natalie's kissing a boy in the club. She kissed him on the, on the cheek. cheek. And yeah. it's Natalie. That's Natalie. He could have been a fan. He could have been a gay if boy. If she's here with you, she'd be kissing you on the cheek. Come on. Yeah. Like, it's Natalie. There she's we go. So it wasn't flirting. nothing. And Dude, she's probably doing that to, to instigate get the... the other girls. All like. Right. Natalie's Natalie. It makes sense. If there's a camera around, you're going to see the Natalie camera. If there's no camera, you're going to see the normal Natalie. So you guys have that in common where it's the Amber show and she has the Natalie show. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> this show is the Natalie Nunn show. I'm sorry. I think it is. It, I, I would it's not Bad Girl All-Star Battle. It's the Natalie Nunn show. But it wouldn't be all... They had to have Natalie for the season. Without Natalie. Like she, I, my opinion, like she brought it. She made the show so much. Like if she wasn't there... I'm sorry. It would have been like, I'm a lot I'm actually kind of bothered. I mean, I, I mean, I lo- I like Tanisha. I'm not crazy about her as being a host actually at all. Mm-hmm. I would have loved to have seen Tanisha mm-hmm. be in this type she of could battle. Have physically that thing, yeah, yeah, no, Tanisha's not gonna do this shit. Tanisha like is moved on and she's doing bigger and better mm-hmm. things. And this would be a step back for her. I thought it was a step back for me, but I mean, who knows? Who cares? Um, <laughs> but I'm uh, sorry. I wonder, like, well, not to backtrack, but we were talking about Natalie and how it was Natalie Nunn show. Um, you mentioned that there was a certain number that people were paid per episode. Do you think that maybe Natalie's number was a little higher than everybody else? We'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is. Right. Uh, so let's just, we don't need oxygen doing nothing. So let's talk about <laughs> the thing. No, she got paid the same as us, but she knows how to negotiate things that she she doesn't Soft walk on use. She doesn't walk away with the same thing everybody else does. 
I don't either. It makes like sense. you guys, I don't brag about it on TV or in front of people. I'm not telling you guys like, oh, I only had a three month contract and all those other bitches had two years because that just causes problems. Right. Why? Mm -hmm. I don't need to look like I'm bigger and better, but I'm also not a dummy and I have lawyers that look at my shit and I do get more shit than the other girls do. <laughs> I just don't brag about it. And well, that, that, you know what I and mean? And I guess you know what the difference is also is you were in one of the original seasons, so you've kind of had time to think about what this show is. What and then to see where it has gone, it's yeah. kind of like whoa. Before and it looks I step funny. into this, what's <laughs> funny is these girls sit and like talk all this shit. Like, oh, these girls are riding our coat. I'll go to like a bar with one of the girls on the new season just to get a drink. They're riding our coattails <laughs> and this and that. Like, bitch, no oxygen calls me for all these new shows. And you know, like I'm not riding your coattail. I'm me. Like, you know, what do you think I'm doing? Like, you're like, not. Like I was one of the that, first bad girls to yeah, have my the, own show. Yeah, we're the ones that put you on the map. If we weren't on this show, you would never even be here because we created this show. Well, you also and, created the characters. Because yeah, I've yeah. started to notice that certain girls fit certain past bad yeah, girl Yeah, they molds. mimic the past mm -hmm. bad girls and they, too. But the thing is, is they do that. Them, they like mimic them on purpose. It's like You, you think do the this, girls do it themselves? Yeah, they do it. Like they think like, oh, okay, so I'm going, I want to get on this show. I need to convince the production I'm bad. So I'm bad because this one time I beat this girl's ass at a bar because she said this to me or what. They have their reasonings for being bad. And then they just like create their character based on an old character. When like you can really just be yourself and you know do, and like, it will pull the bad I think out of like you. do do you and if you're not doing enough do a little bit more you that's what I do I'm like me and if I'm not doing enough I'll just amp it up a little you know um all right so we get to the pink team nomination Flo's trying to tell the girls you know all right guys and it's just like oh girl you look like a fish out of water yeah. right now <laughs> we got to think logical here well, no, bitch. You get you get in voted right on up with the rest of them, girl. <laughs> so Flo gets voted in. Flo puts Judy and Julie up, which is like, Flo, why would you put Judy in when you tried to convince Judy? And then why do you get mad at Judy for putting you up? Right. Yeah. I yeah. didn't understand that part of Flo. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, now I can't tell what's editing and what's not. Mm -hmm. Like on the old, sh on the last few episodes, I could tell you what really happened, so I can't really tell you what happened. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't really know, but, oh, that really... um, you know, Flo's just crazy. Um, so, you know, all the girls basically said it's going to be Flo and Paula, and Paula gets real hyphy yelling at the girls, y'all trying to get me I told her. Which mm -hmm. it kind of, I mean, I can understand Paula, because it's like, Paula knows she's probably not going home, but at the end of the yes. day, it's like, it's scary to be the sacrificial goat every week mm -hmm. you know what what like she told me after the show she's like amber because we were on stage together and i'm like this is bullshit you should not be next to me up here because she shouldn't have been mm -hmm. they fuck it like she was the little dummy and it's bullshit i would never let somebody put me in that place you're not gonna mm -hmm. make me the dummy no like somebody else is going up there i'm not gonna fucking be your dummy and and i told her i'm like this is bullshit that you're standing next to me just so you but know. at the same time can you also i mean it, it, be in the boston girls p situation because fuck yeah they're gonna do that yeah of you know they are yeah. it, it does make of sense and it, it sucks are. and it, I, i'm sure but, all those girls she should have stood up weren't to them. smart enough but she could have told them to their because she didn't tell them she didn't say no you're not doing this to me like she let them okay uh, you know she let them put her in that position. That right. wasn't like her by accident. She could have stood up against them and they would have fucking listened or somebody would have. I'm sure Flo would have broken up one of the other girls before she would have put Paula up. You know what I mean? Because Paula's mm -hmm. not as much of a threat. That's like, true. She's really real. She's honest. Um, you know, and I mean, I kicked her ass on one of the challenges. So, <laughs> you know, that at least gives her a little teeny bit of weakness. Her <laughs> ass is fucking bomb though, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, well, so Paula's getting hyphy. Julie says, you're not going home. Don't worry. So Flo, Paula up for elimination. Flo starts crying again. <laughs> um, Paula says, gets to a point where she feels aggravated, like people are controlling me. Yep. I can't take this anymore. I can understand, you know, the yep. pressure going on in that house. And as the girls go out, Natalie comes back home drunk as ever. <laughs> I'm actually surprised we didn't get a bunch of twerk scenes from Natalie. Oh, yeah. yeah. That night because no, she, that's sober is twerking. That's sober? Okay. <laughs> sober is twerking. Um, and Flo's Natalie drunk's just a fucking bomb-ass time. Yeah, okay. She walks in, she pops in, she goes... 
I'm drunk. Yes, yeah. I'm drunk. We, we see that. And she was like, she must have been a real happy I'm drunk. I'm shocked she was drunk. Like, I wouldn't get drunk yeah. in front of any of those bitches. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she probably felt real, I don't know how she felt real safe, yeah. but she, the yeah, funny yeah. part is, I was surprised, because usually when she has a little liquor in her, she'll, or even just period, she'll go off on somebody. Yeah, she's like happy. And she was mad about the flow thing, but then she just kind of dropped it and she's was like, talking to the girl. She's like, tell me each and every person, like making a hit list, and then she did nothing about it. Yeah, she, no, no, she went and got a Hot Pocket, that's what yeah. <laughs> Toaster strudel, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think so. she's got to at least act like she's having Flo's back. I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah, but she got to make Flo think she cares when she does not give a fuck. Yeah. Well, I would think she kind of does give a fuck because she needs that other person. Yeah, Otherwise, does who does trust, Natalie does really not have in the house? Trust Flo. Really? No. Okay. You think she trusts Flo? Although I've heard I think outside Flo, of the season, I think Flo, Flo worships has, her too. I heard that Flo stayed at Natalie's house during the reunion taping. Mm. No. Not true. This reunion? Yeah. No. Highly, no. highly doubt. It. I mean, I guess I mean I don't know everything, but doubt it. Really. I, um. So Erica and Natalie tell Flo they want to keep her, but then Erica says. Oh, no, Flo's she definitely didn't stay at her house during the reunion because me and Natalie flew to El Paso. We had a club promotion. Okay, well, good, because that was interesting. Oh, my God. Actually, we left the reunion early. <laughs> oh, but... Oh, wait, did we have a reunion? Are we allowed to say that? <laughs> Girl, you're going to have to read your contract. Right uh, uh, I don't got that contract. So I don't got $2 We get to dollars. the elimination. <laughs> Sue me. <laughs> get, get, let me just tell you, get in motherfucking line. Like, get in line. If you want to sue me, great, but you've got, like, a bunch of people to, like, climb through and crawl through before you're getting a dime. <laughs> that, and that, Sally Mae. And that's how Sally a bad May. bitch does <laughs> right? it. Right? Huh? Uh, so we get to the elimination and then it's to be continued. <gasps> da, da, da. Because we all care. The she goes, do you guys even care? <laughs> <laughs> she genuinely was like worried for us. Like, do you Really? Care? Did they have to do the to be continued? Um, so we, we, I guess, you know, we're going to see next week. They, Spoiler alert. Both Spoiler their... alert. <laughs> do you guys want to know what happens? I know who won. Scared me. Let's scare me. Scared me. Okay. All right. Don't spoil it. But they, did both of the girls look shocked? They did a like open mouth shot for both of them. I, honestly, I think it's. Flo. I think that was the next competition. Who can fit Ray J's cock in their mouth? Oh. <laughs> After Buzz TV exclusive. All right. Well, wait. Tell us about Ray J. Yeah, she was talking know, about him the whole show. I'm sorry. Tell us about Ray J. Ray J has so much sex appeal. Like, is that so? Is Judy uh, forgiven for crying when he walked through the door? Okay, no. He's that yeah. attractive? No, Judy's just crazy. That's Judy. <laughs> like cries. Judy cries about everything. Right. First of all, I don't know if it's an act. I don't know if it's not act. Who knows? But she cries, okay. and it's actually annoying. <laughs> Between her I'm crying and her showing her pussy to the whole fucking world while she's on her period, who knows? God, Just saying. That. Like, it's it's too much. She's, the girl needs to have a wake-up call. I mean, somebody needs to. I, I don't step in and try and, like, mother these girls at all because, I mean, look at me. I'm a train wreck. Mm -hmm. But, like, some of them need some help, mm -hmm. you know? All right. Well, before we continue, uh, I want to give a shout out to everybody at home for watching. Uh, please hit us up on iTunes at AfterBuzz TV Bad Girls Club. Subscribe to us, rate us, download us. Please help us support AfterBuzz TV. It's free content. And the other way you can do that, have you ever heard of an energy vampire? Um, no, oh. go for it. No? <laughs> well, I, I can't tell you what it is. I can't give that spoiler alert. But what I can do, if you guys want to know what an energy vampire is and see an amazing movie produced by the creators of After Buzz TV, Maria Menounos and Kevin Undergo, they... They created a movie called The Adventures of Serial Buddies. It's a hilarious cult comedy. There's tons of celebrities in it. Kathy Lee Gifford. Uh, nice. Christopher Lloyd. Christopher Henry Lloyd. Winkler. Henry Winkler. It's wow. hilarious. Maria Menounos is even in it. Uh, so if you want to find out about energy vampires, and if you also want to know why chicks dig champions, check out The Adventures <laughs> of Serial Buddies. Uh, you can download it on iTunes. Um, let's head into predictions. <laughs> Well, she knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, you can't say anything. Anymore. You're right now. Predictions. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's really nothing to predict. We're going to see what happens tomorrow, unfortunately. Oh, uh, yeah, that's tomorrow. Yeah. But we will actually have Natalie Nunn in studio, so that should be very interesting. I want to look like you on this thing. Like, you're what just you so, like, legit. Yeah. Hey, wow. just, like, 
And then I'm sorry, my tits are in the way of my mic. <laughs> but if I was a little bit taller, I could be like, okay, spoiler. Oh, I've been meaning to ask you too. Where did you get those cute little onesie um, sleep being things? Oh, CCR Republic, I think it is. CC Republic. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm follow them on Twitter. You can find them. They're bomb. Yeah. Like, I wear that shit with heels to the club. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love the ones. All right, so what can you tell? I mean, out of, out of all the girls in the house, do you have any beef with any bad girls? Or do you just not care enough? I probably do. I mean, I probably have beef with, like, 15 of them after this show. Like, but I don't care. I mean, Bad Girls Club doesn't run my life. Like, I work at a mortgage company. I, like, save people's homes from foreclosure. That's what I do for a living. Like, that shit I care about. Bad Girls, like, I don't care. Do you ever look back and regret ever doing Bad Girls or? Um, I mean, like, I, I had, like, a really, really good job offer with the Diamondbacks where I was, like, going to be really high up in the organization and work in the executive office and, like, work in a really good position that people, like, would love to work in. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't get the job because I did Bad Girls Club. So, oh. wow. I mean, that's, like, that sucks. Like, I would be in a way different place here and be doing a lot better <laughs> than I am right now. I wouldn't be on Bad Girls Club All-Star Battle because I'd be watching the Diamondbacks win last night's game. Um, so, I mean, that's, like, that's, that's like, an honest regret. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, there's a lot of good things that came of it. Like, um... <laughs> um <laughs> perfect ending. <laughs> Shit. On that note, guys. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Feed me something. I mean, we got to meet us. We got to meet us. Good things. I got to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. And I get, look at this studio, how pretty it is. I wish you could, like, move the cameras around. Like, <laughs> it's amazing. We're actually not in this studio. Can't you th see the sky behind us? It's like <laughs> Los Angeles. We're in LA. Yeah, we're just sitting <laughs> we're back We're in LA. Something. Well, we want to thank you guys for joining the After Buzz TV Amber Show tonight here at Bad Girls Club <laughs> All Stars. We want to thank Amber for joining us tonight. Thanks. Thanks, Stephanie girl. Bauer, Siobhan Hughes. You guys can follow us on Twitter. Keep the conversation going. Follow us at AfterBuzz TV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Check out the Adventures of Serial Buddies on iTunes and Bad Girls Club AfterBuzz TV. You can keep the conversation going. You forgot my Twitter. No, girl, we're gonna give it, it matters because right I care about Twitter followers. Where can people keep in touch with you? Uh, my Twitter is Amber Mead. And um, I have that Instagram thing, Which but I mostly put pi thing? post pictures of like coffee and stuff. <laughs> it's really lame. I don't have any of the naked pics. Those will coffee be soon to come because I'm on a diet. <laughs> uh, and then Tumblr, I have some Amber Mead Tumblr where I like post random videos. All right, but everything's Sorry. under Amber Mead. We can find you. Yes. All right, cool. Stephanie. Steph Bauer TV. At Siobhan underscore Hughes. You guys can tweet me at DJ Jesse J. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you tune in tomorrow with Natalie Nunn. We'll be shooting at Phil. What time? We sh I mean, I don't even know. Oxygen just be changing. <laughs> yeah, everything. You tell me. It's like Natalie. seven o'clock. Just check out the best TV. You want me to call her? Yeah, we'll call her. After She's going to pick show. up. Until next week. Same time, same place. Peace. <laughs> From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later, later, bitches! <laughs> oh, I didn't make it. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.